And now to Westchester County, where a backyard birthday party for a nine-year-old was allegedly crashed by an upset neighbor. And that neighbor is now facing charges. Police say the woman used ethnic slurs and assaulted the organizer, but she denies it. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has a story from the town of Greenberg. It was cakes, cookies, and decorations galore for Saturday night's Halloween-themed birthday party for Diana Navarro's nine-year-old. She organized it in the yard of her cousin Irwin's house, located on a dead-end street in Greenberg. We was having a, a really nice time with the family and friends when suddenly this lady showed up. She was uh, being racist, saying that uh, we were Hispanics, that uh, we, we were here illegal and we should back to our country if we want to have uh, parties. The family told police neighbor Linda Pisano knocked over the food and other items. We keep asking her why, why she's like that. And she just um, turned around and she just scratched my face. Diana says she had a cut on her face and her eyeglasses were broken. The cops were called around 10.30 at night and Pisano was later arrested and charged with third degree assault and criminal mischief as hate crimes. Pisano admits she made a mess, but denies being racist. In fact, she says people from the party attacked her. She says she initially walked over to ask them to turn down the music instead of calling police. The beat was boom, you know, it was boom, boom. So my walls were shaking. I was sick with a cold and a cough, and I had a stroke and a heart transplant. I went in the front yard and I said, Who's the owner, please? She says all of a sudden, they said, out of here. That's when she says she got upset, dumped desserts from the table and left, but she claims a group followed her cursing. With an open hand, I went like this to push them away. She says these black and blues are from her getting beat up. What about some kind of accusations about yelling racial slurs, saying go back to your country? I've never ever done that. I chose to work in the Bronx. I wanted to work. Okay, with this clientele. The neighbors say they probably won't have parties anytime soon because they want to be good neighbors. In the town of Greenberg, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.